Just to remind you that one of the key differences in Formula E is the cars run on lithium ion cells contained in the battery. This effectively acts as a fuel, and when it runs out, the driver switches to a second car to complete the race. Having said that, during qualifying in Hong Kong, the Amlin Andretti team suddenly found they needed three. Watch this. On the final row of the grid, with a fresh rebuild going on on his other car in the pits, Robin Freins, who didn't qualify because of a practice crash, he will start 20th and last. Red flag. Session's over. Somebody else has gone off. By deduction, it's probably Robin Freins, which is bottomed out. You know, Robin has had a messy, messy day so far, and it's not like him. I wonder if he's feeling the pressure. Hang on a second. It looks like that's pulled out of the tub. Is it pulled out? If it's pulled out of the tub, they're in a lot of trouble yeah. to get that repaired in time. This is what racing teams do. When you present a problem to them, they just get it done. And what the Andretti guys have done there today is, is really, really remarkable. We are ready to go for the start of the Hong Kong E3. Robin Freins will start 20th and last. Robin Freins in the pits. There you go, there's the it's car. It's got a fair car Look with a it. few logos on, but it's got wheels. It's got a powertrain. It's got bodywork. Freins trying to take six possession from Oli Turvey. Yeah, good move. Good job, good job. I had a big shunt in the qualify, and to build up an entire new car, in like two hours for the team is really impressive. But to build up is one thing, but to be competitive is another. So I'm, um, I'm really proud of the team and the P6 goes to them. What a feat of engineering that was. In the end, a fifth and sixth place finish for Alan Andretti. Better than they could have hoped for just hours earlier.